So, Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person, Magician, and it's with Temperance. Now, the Magician card is a card that can signify new beginnings, great expectations. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in our world if we simply try. Just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate. And a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself, because the magician is about action, and if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just make sure you do something, because anything is better than nothing. Is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. Now it's with temperance. With this card, although your relationships could be going quite well, you may need to look at any deep personal issues that you could have and see if they're standing in your way and if they are, how to work through them and how to integrate them. Because the ideal now is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself, in your relationships, and with any goals and aspirations that you might have. So the message that I'm getting, Magician, clarified with temperance for you and your person's recent past energy. I'm picking up that. For some of you cancers, you manifested some, you manifested this person, a new beginning with this person that you're with. Yeah. Yeah. It, or, or maybe your person manifested this connection with you. And if it was you who manifested this connection, or a relationship with this person, um, you wanted it because you knew that it would bring balance back into your life. Uh, for some of you, you've been with this person before, and it was a powerful rebonding, a, a powerful coming back together, and you remembered how much this person brought balance into your life. So, for some of you, it's it was a new it's a new person, and you felt that this new person would bring you balance. Yeah, peace of mind. Yeah, so some of you were very strategic in planning how to bring this person into your world with the magician card here, and it looks like it worked. Or it could be working coming up. But let's take a look and see what's coming up for you, Cancer. You and your person. We got the Queen of Cups. And it's with the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Cups can indicate a woman. She could be very helpful to you. She'll remind you to bring love, compassion to your work. And that's possible even if you work in a factory. All day with objects rather than people, so things are probably better in your working world when you get the Queen of Cups in a reading. Now, it's with the Ten of Pentacles, which is absolutely beautiful. It says that you have a, you have a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kind, finance, health, all these things would be going really well for you. So you might need to consider how you got to such a happy situation. And make the best of it. Be sure to share what you have, even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need, because we get back what we get out. So coming up, Cancer, Queen of Cups, clarified by this Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, this person that you manifested into your life, that you feel you felt would bring you balance. It looks like they, they could be ready to offer you their cup of love. Because the Queen of Cups is showing up here for what's to come up. Yeah. The Queen of Cups is a very nurturing, healing, supportive type of energy. Whenever you see the Queen of Cups or the King of Cups in a reading, 
Those are two of the most loving energies in the deck. So your person is ready to offer you love, Cancer. And it looks like with the Ten of Pentacles here, you, you could start to realize that this person is someone that you see as your end-all, be-all. Commitment, marriage, engagement, childbirth. You see this person as someone that you could have it all with. And they're ready to, what's in that cup that they have? The Queen of Cups. What's in there? It's love. So this is absolutely beautiful. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the star card and so the five of wands. Now, when the star card appears, you could find yourself feeling really inspired and more hopeful about the future than you have in a while. So you could feel that you could feel more, you start to feel more confident that your needs, whether they're emotional or financial, you can start to feel like they're about to be met. Just know that nothing can be taken for granted, but it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. Now, this can also be a spiritual card, so you could find yourself feeling at least for a time at one with all of creation, and it's not a common feeling, so you want to make sure to savor it. Savor it. So, yeah, the star card is another great card in the deck. It's about rejuvenation, hopeful, having faith, getting inner clarity. Now, it's with the five of wands, which can refer to competition. This could be work, career. But sometimes it can mean romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer and you can be successful. But the thing is, when you get the Five of Wands, you're going to have to try just to see results. So when this card appears, your need to believe in yourself is going to have to be stronger than ever. So hold your head up high. Have faith you'll end up in a place that's right for you. You could think, you could be thinking of making a career change when you get the Five of Wands, but just know that you can be successful, if so. So your challenge, Cancer, the star, clarified by Five of Wands. So yeah, it looks like everything's going really well. Coming up for the holidays, going into the new year for your person. You're, you're ready to offer love and they're, they want the end all be all with you. Yeah, they like that you bring balance into their life. They feel rejuvenated and hopeful about the future. But the challenge is, is that you could be, you could find yourself with a little struggle in this connection because you got some people from the outside trying to get in. Uh, if you look at the Five of Wands, you see how uh, there's five men here. There's one man just standing there. The other four men are about to beat each other up with their sticks or their wands. So they might have to fight off some unwanted family members that like to cause problems. They like to get put their nose into everything the two of you are doing. Or you, you could be having to fight off some some friends that see that you're you're finally happy. They never seen you this happy before. They never seen they never noticed or saw you wanting to give love to someone and they're a little bit jealous. So they might try to stir things up. So, yeah, you can find yourself trying to fight off some undesirables that might want to cause problems for you and your person. For some of, some of you, not all of you, it could be romantic competition, other men and other women that want a piece of your pie. For some of you. Yeah. So once you beat all these other people away 
with your wand or your stick or however you're going to do it with a broom. I don't know. It looks like once you sh shoo them away, uh, you, s you start to feel rejuvenated. You start to feel more, even more hopeful about this connection. Yeah. Any grief or struggle that you had with all these outsiders? Trying to mess up your good thing? That's release with the star card. They're all gone. It's like you sprayed them with raid. Made them disappear. So this is great. I love the way this reading is going. Absolutely beautiful. So let's see what's coming up for the outcome for you and your person. We got the Six of Pentacles. And it's with the Knight of Cups. Now the Six of Pentacles is often a sign of a turn for the better, especially when it comes to money. Because when you hear the word pentacles in the tarot, that can mean money, cash, coins, finance, income. It's one of the more positive pentacles in the deck. It speaks of equality, equality, fairness, the nature of life. When this card appears, you could be heading into a positive cycle. The Six of Pentacles, it can be a card about generosity, meaning that you're about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have, as there's always someone who needs it. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles is great. You got all the good cards here, Cancer. I like this because we're going into to the New Year, so you always want to start the New Year off with, with something good so that it tends to carry over. But anyway... Where was I at? Yeah, Six of Pentacles, the card above the word outcome. Um, it could also mean that it points to a happy, fair, generous, and balanced time or a relationship. For a relationship for a while, not just a day or a week, but a, for a while. Now, it's with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is very optimistic. Good card to see in a reading. This one comes with messages. And they're the good news type of messages that we all want to receive. It tells you that things are going well. You could be feeling charged up as the Knight of Cups is. The Knight of Cups is also ready for action. So good news. Especially in the realm of matters of the heart. It's likely to be headed your way soon. So your outcome, Cancer. Six of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Cups. So, yeah, it looks like Yeah, so you no longer have to struggle with these other people that, like I said, that were trying to cause problems. You did something to them. Like I said, you sprayed them with raid or you did something. <clears throat> because like I said, you're feeling even more hopeful about the connection. This person sees you as someone that they could have it all with. They want it all with. Yeah. This is beautiful. And you you're 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 ready to offer your cup of love. They manifested you and it's working. They like that you bring balance to their life, to their world. Now this outcome is actually, is actually really good. Six Pentacles, your person, they could start to just do nice things for you. Or you might start doing nice things for them, making them breakfast in bed. Or taking them to work so they don't have to drive. Or just being generous. Maybe you start buying your person gifts or they'll start buying you nice gifts. Because like I said, the Six of Pentacles is about generosity. Giving. Or maybe receiving. So, it's with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is with messages. Being romantic and sensitive, 
So your person, they could start to, start to reach out to you a lot by text, phone calls, knocking at your door, being romantic and sensitive. So this is like a, this is like a dream come true for a lot of you who really want love because everything's going really well. Yeah, this sounds really nice. I don't see anything that's negative in this reading. Yeah, so they're rushing in to be with you. If they're long distance, here they come. Rushing in, romantic and sensitive. That's them wanting to be with you and probably bringing gifts, bringing some nice presents to you. So, Cancer, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. I hope that it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. This way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Cancer, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. It's going to pass. Stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Cancer reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, for these readings, the roles can actually be switched. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, could be a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because like I said, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Cancer, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I'm wishing all of you happy holidays. I hope you have a great day and take care.